Right. I am live, I hope. I am just checking to make sure that everything is working, all the sound is working, all the all the people are working. Let's make sure if you can hear me, throw some eggplants in the chat or some emojis in the chat if you can hear me to make sure we're all good. I am I am okay. You guys are awesome. Yeah, look there. Yay, yay, it's working. Hi everybody. So I am Okay. Now we got we got some got some shit going in the chat. Here we go, you guys. That's awesome. So I, I'm gonna apologize in advance for a couple of things. First, I should have used a different thumbnail because I actually cannot have any wine today. I am actually starting a low dose of Zoloft and I've only been taking it for a few days and they told me not to take, drink any alcohol in the first couple of weeks of acclimating to it. So I can't have any alcohol. We'll talk about that. We'll talk a little bit more about the Zoloft as I work. So I'm drinking water, I'm being good. Two thumbs up for being good. And then the second thing is if I seem slow and kind of out of it, Partly because of the Zoloft and partly because of still being recovering, I am just exhausted. So my brain is not functioning as cleanly as it usually does. So those are the two things. I just wanted to lead with that up front because, you know, that's just the way things are. <laughs> um. Hi, everybody. I've seen all of you guys in the comments. I'm just going to pull my mouse over and scroll to see the comments. What's going on? You guys are awesome. Yes, I promise next live plan with me, I'll have some wine because I actually don't drink very much wine anymore because of my blood pressure meds and having a couple glasses while I plan with you guys is one of my favorite things to do each month. So it will be back, just not today. <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. Have fun at date night. All right, so what are we doing? We're planning today. I'm not doing anything super wacky. I'm just gonna plan my week out because as I said, I am in the middle of acclimating to new meds and still recovering and I just, I'd rather just chat and catch up with you guys and have a conversation while I am doing this than do anything outlandish and over the top. It's just not where my brain is at right now. So I'm gonna be planning my week. I've got stuff going on. One of the things I'm doing this week is going to New York for the New York Planner Addicts Masquerade, which is this weekend on Saturday. So if I'm, I'm going to see you there, let me know in the comments so I can be excited to see you and so on and so forth. So most of this week is going to be getting work done so that I don't have to worry about it while I'm gone. Hi, everybody. Yep, Diana, I will totally see you there. Ooh, hi from Australia. What is my favorite flavor of Angry Orchard? Oh, uh, probably the rosé. I like the rosé Angry Orchard. You're working very hard on growing a cute little parasite. I did that already. All right, and I'll show you guys. If you don't want to see, if you don't want to see a scar, turn your eyes away. But I have my Steri strips are off, off of this particular. Um, incision. The other one also is Seri strips are off. So I am recovering from surgery, but you know, just proof that I actually got it done. You just got to see it. So, uh, anyway, so let's get started. So I have stuff going on. I got my list. I've got what I'm going to use. I'm going to use these things. I have this, I bought this at the Erin Condren store in, uh, at go wild, I think. And then I have the washi tape that matches and I just grabbed this purple because I don't know, I just felt like using these because I want to use up the shit that I've got because that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And I need to grab some little flags to cover up these little flags. That's where we're starting. Do I have a podcast? Do you listen to a podcast that sounds like my laugh? I do have a podcast. It's called The Uncurated Life. Thank you. I'm glad they look... I'm glad they uh, look okay. It is healing very nicely. And the other one is looking good too. It's just on my elbow and I'm not gonna pull my shirt up that far because that is too far, too far, too far. Okay, so let's see here. 
Maybe I'll use these gray ones. I only have two of those left though. Is that gonna make me sad if I use those? How about we do the yellow ones? Let's do the yellow ones. Let's, let's be different. Normally I go for the gray, obviously, but I'm gonna use the yellow ones because there's yellow here and that will be bright and sunny like I wish it was right now. The Wheel of Fuckery will return, Jessica, hopefully next month. I'm doing Plan As You Go next month, so maybe, maybe not. It's sitting over here, though. I do want to use it again. I just have been, it's been rough doing it during the holidays when I'm trying to, like, use my planner. Because to be perfectly honest, as funny as it is when I use that shit, my planner is not very usable for the rest of the week. So I need to be very careful when I decide to use the Wheel of Fuckery so I don't use it on a week where I really need my planner, if that makes sense. So that's the reason I like to do shit to my planner is because it is my actual planner. Yeah, it is very gray outside. It's been rainy all week. I hope you guys didn't get rained on too hard, Professor Lucas, because it was intense here for the, um, the few days that it was raining. All right, so I'm going to run this washi tape across the top, I think. grab my oh washi tape thingy this is my artist loft palette knife that i like to use i never remember to mention that in my videos but i'm mentioning it now want some snow no it's so ugly in new york ah oh, damn it when am i moving my swatches jessica that is an excellent question i will probably do that next month this month is just between the surgery and everything else i haven't been able to schedule an extra live stream but next month i will likely do that probably i feel like i already made my schedule for for february so i think the live plan with me is happening mid-month so maybe the swatches will happen towards the end of the month i'm not sure yet but they will happen next month i'm thinking though originally i was going to put all of my swatches in that Loish term notebook, but then somebody linked and showed me the um, yellow paper house, the yellow paper house um, swatch book, where they're like books with pages built for swatches and they're like nice paper. And I saw that and I was like, fuck, that's exactly what I need to have like perfect, beautiful swatches and not have to worry about making them. So I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I'm still, I'm still questioning, I'm swatch questioning right now. Ooh, so I'm glancing at the, uh, glancing at the comments really quick. So what you East Coasters are telling me is I need to pack something more than just a sweatshirt, which is what I usually wear here. My husband is an East Coaster and it drives him batty that my kids refer to their sweatshirts as their jackets because they don't wear actual jackets, they just wear sweatshirts. So they refer to them as their jackets. And he's like, those aren't jackets, those are sweatshirts. Jackets are different than sweatshirts. It makes him so angry. I'm gonna put this puppy down here. That doesn't fit. He is correct. No, I agree with him. I don't think he's wrong. I just don't get as like freaking ragey. He like rages against the machine. It's really funny. I mean, it's funny for me as an observer. I don't think, I think he's probably less amused. I'm using this to cut this off because I can't pull my drawer out to get my little credit card out without janky, janking up everything. So I'm, I'm experimenting here. All right, so we're getting this stuff on here. Let me see you. We do freeze at 40. It's freaking cold here when it's 40 degrees. Okay. Well, thank you for the tips for traveling. I appreciate that because I'm going to need it. So here's this. So I'm going to start doing my, my shit my blood pressure and so on and so forth. I don't know where I got this. I have a bunch of solid colored washi tape and I have no idea where I got it. I know I got some of it from Michael's and I know I got some of it from co-ops, but I don't know which is which. I have no idea. It is mystery washi. 
you need motivation, well, I would suggest if you sit down with your planner, even if you're not really sure what you're going to do, to just do it for the sake of doing it and see what happens. Any tips using washi tape? My biggest tip is to actually use it. Like actually use it. Don't hoard it. Don't worry about using it up. It's a consumable, which means it's meant to be consumed. And I find that a lot of people get a bunch of it, especially for washies like from Simply Gilded where they're, you know, you only can get so much of it because she only makes like limited runs. You don't use it and then you just accumulate it and it's just sitting there. Now I know some people are collectors and if you're a collector, I guess I understand that. But if you're not really a collector, if you're just hoarding it, you're not going to have any fun unless you use it. These are so crooked or not crooked, but uneven and I don't give a fuck. You need motivation to start your power sheets. Rachel, my suggestion for you would be to use the videos that is, are on the Cultivate What Matters YouTube page. That's what I did. I took, there's five of them to get you through the power sheets. And I followed them and I was trying not to be cynical. You know, not my usual like, oh, that's so woo woo. Like I was trying to just take them at face value and utilize them and follow along. And what I did was I opened up the videos I watched them for the section I was on, then I paused the video, did that work, unpaused the video, kept watching it, and that got me through the whole prep, and then I was really motivated to keep doing with the goals because the prep was done. So that's my suggestion, is use the videos. But if you've got a bunch of washi tape and you're trying to figure out how to use it, think about why you might want to. Do you want to just use washi tape for decoration? I don't use it just for decoration. This is just for decoration. This is not, this is functional. I like to use washi tape for various reasons, both functional and decorative. And I think my functional reasons are either to divide something up to like create sections or whatever, or to show long periods of time, whether a whole day, whether a week, whatever, using the washi tape to cover multiple hours or multiple days. That's why I like to use it. What the hell is no? I'm scrolling through the comments because you guys are talking about Nippo and I have no idea what you're talking about. Nippo golf course. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I still don't know where that is, but at least now I know it's not just something like... It was making me think, is it something like Marmite? Like, is it some, like, food product in a different country that I have no idea? Those are relatively even. That'll work for me. So for those of you who wonder why I'm doing it this way, if you don't watch my other videos, I use these boxes on the end of the Erin Condren Horizontal to track my blood pressure, my weather, and my meal plan. And so I like to divide it up. Oops, that's why. Because that's how I make this planner functional for me. Have I thought about searching my washi? For searching it for what? I, I don't know. I don't know what, what you're asking me. Am I searching it for the meaning of life? I'm not sure. I know some of the Gilda washi is really popular, but I don't know if it has the meaning of life. I mean, maybe. <laughs> How did I do weather in a vertical planner? Ooh, I think I can. No, my planners were all outside. Um, the way I used it for a while was, you know where there's the three boxes? I would put it along the top up above the, um, up above the day, like the number and the day. The, uh, that's how I used to do it. Um, I don't know if they've changed the fonts. It's been a few years since I've used a vertical planner, so... But that's also what I did some of the time in the, in the hourly. Swatching my washi. Ah, uh, I have a lot of it. I'm not sure that might take me a while. I guess that could be a fun eight hour long live stream. And do, that would be where I go to Twitch. I'm like, I'm on Twitch for the next 24 hours swashing my 8,000 rolls of washi tape. I could, that would op open me up though for all of you guys seeing how much I actually have. And I'm not sure if I'm ready for that kind of judgment. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, here we go. I'm scrolling up. I see some questions. If I missed any questions of yours, just ask them again because I'm not great at catching them when I'm also live streaming. Kara, my arm is feeling better. It still hurts and there's some so a lot of soreness. A lot of the acute pain has gone down and now it's a lot of soreness and swelling, but it is better. As an example, I am not on any painkillers right now, so it is feeling better. It's just not feeling great. Um, Ariel asked, do I think I'll ever go back to vertical? I've considered it actually, considered it as of fairly recently, and I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe, but I have thought about it because I'm not really sure why I thought about it. There was a reason at the time, and I don't remember what it was. You know, I like using the horizontal, but I'm not, I don't feel beholden to the horizontal. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I like it, and I'm going to keep using it for the rest of this year, but I'm not so, like, in love with it that I feel, that I feel like I want to stick with it. I'm, I'm kind of like, nah, it's okay. So, I'm not sure. Maybe. Potentially. I still have to think about that. I already just went through a big, like, uh, existential crisis figuring my bullet journal out. So we're going to let the Aaron Condren be by itself for, like, not worry about that for a little while. All right. Let me scroll down. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I lost it. There was a question and I lost it. Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, you're being no, okay, Tracy, you asked, I'm being nosy, but why do you have two incision sites? Um, I got a, a B fist, an AB fistula and they were originally going to put it here and this didn't work. So while I was still under, they put it, I guess I can try and pull this up. Ow, not comfortable, not comfortable. Eh, that's where they put it right there. That's the other one. So they, this is actually in my elbow is actually the AV fistula. This was where they attempted it. It didn't work. So. Yeah, that's why. Jo Jocelyn says, I have an undated where the weekend has half the space. How do you recommend combining them? Reconnect. My back. Okay, I'm back. Sweet. Okay, sorry. It just disconnected for a minute. Yeah. Have you ever thought about giving away washi? Um, sometimes when I go through it, but I actually use most of my washi, so I don't actually feel compelled to get rid of any of it. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to catch up on any questions. I feel like I might have missed any questions. Do I change layouts or am I loyal to the horizontal? Right now I'm loyal to the horizontal, not because I'm so devoted to it, but because I I like keeping everything in one year. At least that's been my habit. So switching back and forth stresses me out. I would rather just pick one and stick to it unless it's really not working. So it's not that I'm devoted to the horizontal. It's that this is what I picked for this year and I'm using it. Next year, I might go with, hor and by year, I mean academic year. I switch my planners in July because I like the school year calendar for my planner. So it just depends on what I'm feeling at the time. Fistulas are fragile. I was, I was very careful. I'm okay though. <laughs> Mine is going okay. All right, so I'm gonna start putting my weather and my um, my meal plan in. I really like doodling my weather in. I have stickers for weather, but I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna give you guys some real talk right now from real California talk, although I feel like this could apply to, I think this could apply to any, any, um, any place specifically. I want to buy my weather stickers by the sheet of a particular weather. 
Like I want to buy a sheet of sunny stickers or a sheet of cloudy stickers or a sheet of rainy stickers as opposed to a sheet with everything mixed on there. Reason being is because California doesn't get snow. We don't very often get lightning, but we get a lot of sun and a lot of cloudy, sunny days. So a standard sheet of weather icons doesn't, doesn't um, really, it's not really helpful. You know, like back in those teacher weather stickers where it was like the, those old ones that were like super popular, like three or four years ago, I would have like half of it still like completely gone and half of it not even touched because of California weather. Oh, there's a super chat. Thank you for making me notice. Where'd it go? Thank you, Mary Kate. Mary Kate said, thank you for everything you do. You rock. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I repeat what I said about combining the weekends? Well... Jocelyn, I didn't have a lot of great advice for that because my suggestion would be if Sunday is the thing you have a lot of stuff do, if you don't have a lot going on on Saturday, just put your Saturday stuff on a post-it and use Sunday, the weekend day just for Sunday or cover up your dates with like headers, like, you know, redate your planner and combine two days that you're okay with combining as opposed to those two days. The Coffee Monsters Co. does that? Cool. I'll have to check it out. All right. So um, I will also add, because I am putting in my meal plan, that the arugula experiment is going great. And I'm doing a fried chicken with arugula for tomorrow because my husband will be off so we can cook together. Yeah, the arugula experiment of January has been great. Next month I think is going to be cauliflower February, which does not sound very romantic. Weather stamps would be good, but you guys know how I feel about stamps. I don't like, I actually have weather stamps. I've used them in the past and I just, uh Stamping and I are are, I would not go so far as to say Stamping and I are mortal enemies. I don't think it goes that far. I think Stamping and I are, are, and we're not frenemies because I would never consider myself friends with stamps. I feel like we're work acquaintances who don't like each other very much, but have to be civil because we work in the same workplace. That's how I feel about stamps. <laughs> oh, there's another super chat. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. Thank you for the $10. Yeah, the roasted cauliflower can I do spicy. I can't, I'm not a big spicy person though. Like I can do spicy. I just don't like spicy. <laughs> uh, plan as you go is next month, February. Thank you, Ruth. Cauliflower, so I heard cauliflower rice is good, especially if you don't use it from the frozen. One of my patrons said today, Deborah said, do not, eat it, use frozen cauliflower rice? Or no, it was not Deborah, it was Sarah who said that. Sarah said that. Um, so, because I know the one way I like, I really like to eat cauliflower is roasted with bacon and garlic. And I mean, that's like, there's many, I don't know if there's many things I wouldn't eat roasted with bacon and garlic. So that's kind of a easy, <laughs> it's kind of an easy situation, right? <laughs> Cauliflower tacos in the, in the slow cooker. Ooh. Kayla, yeah, super chats are basically like a tip. Like they are like throwing some dig, some money. I was gonna say digital money, but it's it's actual money. They're throwing some money my way because they feel like it or because they are happy for what I'm saying or whatever. Like I don't ask for it. It's you guys, it's I appreciate it, but I don't try and like pimp it out. I've seen some people get super hardcore about it and I feel weird doing that. But I do appreciate it when you guys send them my way because it helps pay for my cauliflower. So <laughs> and my and my copays. My cauliflower and copays. That is my that should be my new blog. Cauliflower and copays. Because that is my life. This is Instant Pot Spaghetti, by the way. If you've never made Instant Pot Spaghetti, 10 out of 10 recommend. Just make sure to not overdo it with the noodles. Only put in as much as they tell you to. Otherwise, they clump together and get all hard and it's nasty. But if you put in as much spaghetti as they tell you to, Instant Pot Spaghetti is glorious.
Do I have any cheap Erin Condren alternatives? I would suggest, oh, nice, Christina. I'll have to go check that out. Um, the, uh, Um, 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 I was saying something. Oh, Dexter's Trap House asked, do you have any cheap Aaron Condren alternatives? I would suggest that the cheapest Aaron Condren alternative is probably the Michaels Recollections Planners because they're basically an Aaron Condren knockoff and you can get them with a coupon. And like, if they're like $25, $30, you can get them for 50% off with a coupon. They're probably the cheapest that is like Aaron Condren. Otherwise... Um, you know, there's all sorts of other inexpensive planners, like in the, in the oeuvre of planners, but for one that is like a spiral bound like this, with this kind of a layout, the Michael's Recollections planner is the cheapest alternative that I know about. That's like a similar situation. Oh, thank you, Kay. I appreciate that for the $5 and for yeah, the well wishes. I feel like the Recollections did have a vertical for a five minutes or so. Um, Fife's said, can I say thank you for the video about the mild liners? You never would expect them to have a new set. The new set is beautiful. The new set of mild liners is my new, I'm like so distracted by the comments. I'm not actually working. The new set of mild liners is my, like my favorite of all of them currently, I think. Bacon, arugula, Sammy's. That we've already made. These ciabatta bread with cheddar and a fried egg and bacon and arugula sandwiches. God damn it. They are so good. I made it for breakfast for us and the kids like last weekend. Easily my favorite arugula situation that I discovered. Which I mean, again, it's bacon and cheddar and a fried egg with arugula. Like it's not rocket science, but it's so yummy. <sighs> The peach pack of mild liners is so hard to find. Did you look on Amazon? The place that I got mine before Jet Pens had them, the new mild liners and some of the older sets is Kawaii Pen Shop. You have to wait for it because they're in Japan, but they have they usually have all of the sets of mild liners. Ooh, steaks out. There's a troll. Oh, e. No, thank you. See you later. All right, got the troll. I think I got that troll pretty quickly. All right, and what's my last? Oh, and I think we're gonna go out on Thursday night just because I'm po I'm packing and um I'm packing and you know gotta get shit going. Jesse's on his own with the kids this weekend, which is fine with me. All right. So now that we've got this all in, I got to start putting my shit in for the week. I'm trying to decide, do I want to block this off? I did that. And uh, I'm not really sure I like that. I think I want to do what I like to do when I use this kind of a kit is utilize these little checklists. And so I think I'm going to do that because there's a lot going on to get ready for the uh, trip this weekend. So I'm going to do that. I think But instead of using them on the weekend, I'm not going to use them on the weekend because I'll be busy, um, you know, in New York. So I'm going to only use them for the week, which is good because there's only four of them. But I will say, okay, so these Aaron Condren sticker sheets, I'm going to give you guys some thoughts on these because I don't think I've ever really talked about my thoughts on these sticker sheets. And I have some thoughts on them. So I figure while I'm using it, I will talk about it because I will. And then I will look at the comments in just a second. Once I smooth that little fucker down. Oh, thank you for the $10, Deb. Happy New Year to you too. Um, sorry if this is asked already. How is your sister doing? My sister's doing good. You'll actually get to hear from her soon on the podcast. So, but she's doing okay. You were confused on the troll. You probably just missed it. It was just somebody telling us to go to InfoWars and we don't need that kind of negativity in our life. Um... So my thoughts on these sticker sheets.
Is it back? Ah, there we go, it's back. All right, I apologize. I don't know why, what's going on with my internet. My podcast is available on Spotify. It should be. Anyway, so I put those things in. That will be for this week. And then next week, I'm, next half of the week, I'm not going to put them because I'll be traveling on these two days. And maybe I'll use this puppy to mark, oh, hi, Mark, my New York trip. And I'll just do it like this. I'll just put this puppy here. This is like how I like to use washi tape to mark long periods of time. Um, all right, we're back again. All right, so my thoughts on these EC sticker kits. I'm gonna grab a, grab a, a, uh, sorry. I think, yo, I'm looking at the chat and I'm buffering. All right, so to the EC sticker kits. I'm grabbing a thing for up here really quick. Uh, so these kits, all right, my thoughts on them. I feel like they, uh, use this guy right here. I feel like the reason I like using these kits, the real, the reason I like using these kits is because I love the, um, the designs that Erin Condren puts out. I think that, and this could just be me, I'm grabbing a pen. This could just be me, you know, and my personal tastes. I personally am a big fan of the aesthetic of a lot of the Erin Condren stuff. Like the being able to choose your colors and the designs themselves are things that I like. They're in my wheelhouse. So that's why I like those. But I feel like there's a few things I don't like about these kits. And I, I like some of the things about them and there's some of the things I don't. One of the things I don't like is that you only get four of these little check boxes instead of seven for a week. You know, that just, it bums me out that there is not enough of these for a whole week. Secondly, they don't stick very well. That bothers me. Like they, Erin Condren stickers in general don't stick very well. They're, it's nice when you want to move them around, but it's not nice when you want them to stay in one spot. Sometimes they curl up. That annoys the shit out of me. And then the third thing is more personal, but that these ones that are like darkly patterned, I can't write on top of them. And I like using my stickers to write. So they're more decorative than they are functional. And for me personally, that's not as useful. But I love the aesthetic of them, which is why I still use them, even though there are things about them I don't like. So... That's my thoughts. I'm so sorry that this is so like blurry and not fabulous right now. My internet apparently is just not loving me. All right. So we're going to start getting our plans in for the week. Um, Monday, my husband is off because of um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I have a few patron things. I have to bring my son's stuff over to his dad's house. I have a phone call at 10 a.m. and I need to do um, film one video. And then the rest of the day I want to spend with my husband. That seems like a lot for one day. But the rest of the day I want to spend with my husband. We want to go to brunch, have a brunch date together. And then um, just spend some time together that day. So um, I'm going to use this for the brunch date, I think. So I don't want to schedule myself a lot of work. There's a few things I have to do but I don't want to add additional shit. So one of the things I like to do with the, the horizontal, because it's not linear, it's not giving you like a linear look at your day the way an hourly does or even a vertical. The way I utilize this is that I put crucial shit underneath the day. This is like my, if I look at nothing else, if I look at this, this is my crucial shit. The way I organize this is in terms of size and obviousness. Anything that I put a lot of, give a lot of real estate to is the thing I either want to be focusing on 
or whatever the case may be. So if I put a lot of big stuff here, that doesn't leave me a lot of room to think about other things. It's a visual reminder of how much time I wanna spend. I don't like blocking my time because I have chronic illness. It's hard for me to stick to any sort of schedule when I'm feeling like shit. But if I at least prioritize what needs to get done visually, that helps me stay on top of things and feel like I've accomplished something even when I'm feeling awful. So that is how how I don't, how I, how I use that. Um, Cassandra asks, ever want to come out with your own planner or sticker designs? Well, my stickers, if you want stickers from me, you get them from Christian Designs. That's who I work with. But um, as for designing a planner, people have asked me that because I've reviewed them and I always talk about how this is not what I like. I'd like this. The idea of, of, of designing a planner is intriguing. And at the same time, part of me is like, that's fucking way too much work. I'd rather just bitch about other people's planners. <laughs> so I don't know. <sighs> All right. So, um, so I'm going to put brunch with Jesse here. Do I have a brunch? Do I have a brunch sticker? I don't know if I have a brunch sticker. I might have a brunch sticker. Do I have a brunch sticker? I feel like I might. I feel like I might have some in one of those like Chrissy and Designs from Michael's sets. It's not something I would ever go and buy because I don't brunch very often. I'm not a millennial. Not that I'm saying all millennials brunch, but my friends who are millennials tend to brunch. I, on the other hand, tend to eat food at home. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't know if I have a brunch sticker or not. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. I'll just write brunch. We want to go to brunch because I want to get bacon. All right. I need to, like, organize my stickers. Like I have them all like sort of, I know where everything is and I have an idea of what everything I have is, but it's been a while since I've cleaned that up. And now when I'm looking for certain things, I can't find them. And so I just need to go through them and like get them all figured out. <sighs> of course, that would force me to reckon with how much I have. And that's just a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. So, <laughs> bye, Isabella. How do I define millennial? I am not, I think the millennials are born in 1983 or older. I am born in 1980. So I'm in that weird in between Gen X and millennial. I think they call them Xennials. How is my energy level? My energy level's okay. I'm just really tired. Have I used date planning washi? I don't know. What am I looking at here? Somebody says, do I miss working a nine to five job? Yeah, I, I never really worked a nine to five job. Like I've worked freelance. I did like three months doing some graphic design work as a contractor and that was a nine to five job. But generally speaking, before I started working for myself, I worked in grocery stores for 20 years. <laughs> and I was always doing creative things like cake decorating and sign art, but it was still in grocery stores. And like I would work at eight to four or like, you know, seven to three or six to two. So I guess working like a regular job, I don't really miss it all that much. I miss like the camaraderie and having other people around. But other than that, like my health is just so crappy right now. I can't imagine working at a grocery store feeling like this every day. I, I, I don't know how it would work. And I feel I'm so impressed with the people who have chronic illness and have to go to a regular job every day where they're feeling awful every day and they have to just push through it. Like my hat goes off to them. Rachel, I'm excited for that too. Yeah, 20 years, my dudes. Um, what kinds of a job would I not want? Um, uh, what kind of job would I not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I guess working with spiders, because those scare me. 
I'm not any kind of job where I was working where I felt embarrassed because I felt like I wasn't good enough, which I actually ran into. And Trish actually suggested that I do a podcast on imposter syndrome. And I want to do that at some point soon when I can fit it in. I've, I think the worst imposter syndrome I ever had was that time I was doing graphic design because I felt like I wasn't good enough. I get it still to this day doing what I'm doing now, but it was like concentrated when I was doing that graphic design work. It was the first time I went into like an office job and I felt like I didn't belong there because I was not used to it. I was used to wearing a Trader Joe's t-shirt and jeans and going to work. And this was different. It was hard for me. All right. So I'm going to make my list right here of the things that are happening Um, on Monday. Two patron things, a phone call, and bringing my son's shit to his dad's house because he's at a retreat and he's heading straight to his dad's from it, but his backpack is still here. All right. Um... Scrolling. Positive quote back. Positive quote quote Instagram poster. Yeah, I don't think I could do that either. <laughs> do I keep my stickers in a binder sheet or do they come that way? Um, These ones come that way. The Chrissy Ann Designs ones, they come that way. Other than that, I keep like my Once More With Love stickers and I actually need these out so I might as well pull them out. Um, I keep them in these little uh, photo albums because they, they're the right size for that. What do my kids call their husband? My husband, they call him Jesse or my Jess. That's my, my kid. Should listen to the podcast Battle Taxis, T Tactics for Your Sexist Workplace. Ooh, okay, I'll check that out. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, so I think that's everything I'm gonna put on Monday for right now because that's everything that I've got for Monday and I'll put more shit. When you watch Plan As You Go, um, You'll see how I fill this in every day. I only put the basic shit at the beginning of the week and I fill the rest of it in as I go. So Tuesday, I have a podcast interview at 9 a.m. Um, it's the yearbook deadline at my son's school. I have to go pick up some medication at the pharmacy and I need to film. I think I need to film that day. What else do I need to do? Oh, I got some other shit. Okay, so I'm gonna make my list of shit first and I'm gonna put a couple other things on here. Um, I can't spell today. Um, I need to do laundry as well. And then I'm going to put the podcast thing over here, actually, I think. Artistic medic, I think you should do that as well. I think that's a fantastic idea, personally. Do my kids stay with Jesse if I'm not here? Yes. We've been we've been sharing custody for um ten years now almost. Nine years. Nine, ten years. My kids have known their two step parents for almost since they were little guys. Like I don't even think RJ remembers a time when he doesn't didn't have um when he didn't have his stepmom and stepdad. So they're used to it at this point. But yeah. There are times if I'm traveling for a long time where we might ask to swap with my husband so my ex husband so that they can spend more time with the kids, but um often we just we just make it work when I'm traveling. All right, so that's for that podcast episode. Um, considering writing Dungeon and Dragons guides, that's awesome, Trish. Sandy, you're my hero. I suffer from... Oh, Sandy, I appreciate that. Can you tell us a story about your favorite teacher, Erratic? Aratus Rikar, I hope I spoke, I don't think I said that right. Can you tell us a story about your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher was probably my biology teacher, my advanced biology teacher in high school, Mr. Brown, because he 
loved science and he taught us to love science as much as he did. And he was just a fun teacher. The club that he advised was called Scientifically Speaking, where we would get together on scientific topics we loved and then go to elementary schools and talk about them. I had pet rats, so we talked about rats. So much fun. Um, what pen am I using? I am using a Pilot Fine Liner. The classic fine liner. How old is my oldest child? Uh, 15. I have a 15 year old and my son will be 12 in March. Or 13 in March. Yeah. Um, no, I've had, I've had some, I've had, I've been lucky. I've had some great teachers. I've had some not so great teachers, but I remember the greater ones a lot more than I remember the non-great ones, if that makes sense. All right, so on Wednesday, I need to finalize my itinerary for New York. Because I still don't know what that all is. I have a patron live that day, so if you're a patron, we got live that day at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And that's the only two things I have on that list for that day, so I think... I'll just put the patron live here and I'll leave the rest of it blank because I know I'm going to need to get work done that day. So if I leave this blank as I'm planning my week out, that means I'm not planning to do anything else this day so I can fill that up with work later. Yeah, regular plan with me today, Rebecca. I'm just not feeling great. Um... I was checking to see if there were any more questions. All right. Thursday is going to be a big day because I have to pack and I have to post a couple of things for my patrons and then I have a deadline that day and my husband and I want to go on a date even though we're going to try and go on a date this day so having two dates could be extra special so I think I'm going to put this puppy here and I'm going to put a date night sticker on that I think is what I'm going to do I've got one of my older ones from Chrissy Ann Designs in this binder. Yeah. Use this one here, this yellow one. I don't even think she has those anymore. I think that she reformatted them. They're a little hard to read on top of that flower, but that's okay. And then um, eggplant sticker. I do need that as well. It's a good point. I wish I had, I think Kristen makes the eggplant stickers with the, uh, with different colors, I need some of those, I'm pretty sure, because only having the purple ones, I guess the purple one works okay for, for this. There we go. <laughs> All right. My desk is a wreck right now. All right. Um, and then what else do I have on Thursday? I'm gonna put pack in big letters here, because that's big. I don't like to talk through when I'm lettering too much. I spell things wrong. You think, how would you spell the word pack wrong? You would be surprised how easily I spell shit wrong. The words that I have spelled wrong when I'm distracted that should be, I misspelled the name Ashley. It was the first time anyone had ever asked me to letter their name in their planner. It's the first time it ever happened to me. And I was so excited. I was like, wow, this is fancy. So I lettered and it was her name and it was Ashley. It was at a Northern California meetup and I spelled it wrong. And I was like, fuck, I just wrecked your planner. I'm so sorry. So it's amazing how quickly I can misspell things if I get distracted. Lori, just be proud of doing it and don't even worry. Don't even worry about it. I'm scrolling back through the comments here. Yeah, thank you patrons for answering the question there because I was distracted, obviously. Um, I'm gonna add a little 
bit here. I feel like this is too bland. There we go. Okay, so what's next? So Thursday, I also have challenges. And yeah, all right. So that is Thursday so far. So let's go to the next day. So this is my trip. So this is gonna be a bit of a different experience. Friday and Sunday I'm flying, which is gonna be an intense life for me because I'm flying to New York. And for those of you who don't know, I live in Northern California. So I'm flying across the country and back in 36 hours. That's not right, it's more than that. 72 hours, is that right? Three days, 72 hours? I feel like that's right. In less than 72 hours, I'm flying back across the country and back. And for some people who are like civilized business people who do all these kinds of flying, it's probably no big thing for them. But for me, I do travel for doing planner shit occasionally, but it's not very often. It's a few times a year. I don't usually travel very well. I'm not very well, tra well good at traveling. I'm kind of, kind of shitty at traveling, but I've got these guys. So... Um, so <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work for me, but I'm going to put my flights on the bottom here so that I can, um, enter them in, take a look at my itinerary and enter them in. They are nonstop, thankfully. So I will be just flying across the country and back. Breaking news. Rams are going to the Super Bowl. Who's the other team? I, I haven't been paying attention. I don't watch football that much. The Rams and Who? Bring warm clothes that is freezing in New York. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on California time. I'm gonna do my best. Natasha, you belong in this community just as much as anybody else does. I know it can be hard because of the way, and we started talking about, if you don't listen to my podcast yet, we ha I had a conversation with Beck, who might still be in the chat here, who's, who's non-binary, and we were talking about gender in the planner community and it's a conversation I'm going to continue on the podcast but I think that this is while often the marketing is geared towards women and especially women of a certain demographic that doesn't mean that that's all that there's room for we just have to make sure that people feel welcomed and that they have a space and they find the place that they feel the most welcomed The other team isn't decided. Okay, who's so who's playing this who's playing the other game? Chiefs or Patriots? Aren't the Patriots assholes? I don't know a lot about football, but isn't the Patriots where Tom Brady is? Uh, all I know is that Tom Brady is the one everybody he's like the Voldemort of football. At least that's what I have gathered. I, I'm not the best person to ask answer these things. I don't pay attention. I watch high school football, but that's because my kids in marching band. Um, yes, what the Beck is in the chat or what the Beck was in the chat. I don't know if they're still here or not. Totally calling you out. All right, so I've got these two things for my, my flights. I'm gonna put the airports because I... I don't remember the times, but I know the airports, SFO to JFK, and then JFK to SFO. All right. Now I also need to put in a couple of things that I'm actually not gonna be here for. My kids have OWL on Saturday and Sunday. They have like a double OWL session this weekend to try and get them done before May because it's a whole fucking year worth of OWL. And so I wanna put these on here so I can remind myself to call my husband and remind him that OWL is happening. For those of you who don't know, OWL is um, Our Whole Lives. It's a um, sex and sexu like sexuality class that the UUs and the United Church of Christ put together. It's secular and it's awesome and they're still in the middle of it. So I'm going to use these munchkins with bags over their heads because... My kids have no problem talking to the, each other and people in their classes about the stuff that happens in OWL, but they kind of, 
they aren't always sure how to talk to me about it yet. So as a joke, that's my joke. My joke. Am I going to do a live Bujo soon? Um, maybe in March. I'm not doing it this week because I'm not there yet. It just depends on when I can do the live plan with me. I could do a live Bujo pretty much any time. If you guys, okay, here's the thing. If you guys think I should do more live videos, then like this video right now and say it in the comments, either in the live chat or in the ch in the comments after if you're watching the replay. If you want me to do more lives, I can't promise to do them all the time, but if you would like me to incorporate them more often with bullet journal setups and swatches and art, whatever the case may be, let me know because I don't want to overdo anything. I don't want to bore the shit out of you. So I don't want to do more of something if it's if it's gonna just start running together and not be fun anymore. But if it's something you would like, let me know what you'd like to see and throw some likes up there and I will I will take that into account. While I write in my owl time so I can remember to call my husband. I just have to remember that I'm on different time than he is. <laughs> when I call him, call him at, and be like, it's owl and he's like, what? I guess it wouldn't matter because it's a different. All right, so two owl sessions. Two. <clears throat> yeah, see, Professor Lucas, I'm the same way. Like that's why I like doing both, and I try and keep my other my other videos short so that they're not, um, so that they're not. Ooh, Manda, thank you for the the super chat, one ninety nine, and saying more lives. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, all right, so the other thing I wanna put on Sunday is that I'm supposed to meet with Lakin to hopefully do a collaboration, which I don't usually do on my channel. I've been doing them on the podcast because that's how podcasts kind of work, but I've never really been a collaboration on my channel because I, I just, uh, most people don't want to collaborate with someone. You're gonna send your people over here and I'm cussing and they're gonna be like, eh, but she's cussing. Why would you send me over here? So. I don't, I don't want to do that to people. I don't want to collaborate and have them send their people over and have them, their people be like, oh my God, you sent us to someone who drops the F-bomb. So I'm not worried about that with Lakin. So I'm, I don't know what time we're getting together, but I'm going to get together with her some point in the morning. So I got to figure that shit out. Aw, thank you, Brooke, for the $2 super chat with all the lives. You guys are paying me to do more lives. I'm down with that. <laughs> I think my husband is walking in the door, so be prepared for the noise. Be prepared for the sound. Just scrolling back to see if I missed anything. Um, yeah, here they come. There, sorry, now I'm hella distracted. Um, did I miss a super chat? I thought I got them both. Were there two or were there three? Oh, Brooke. No, wait, I said I saw that one. Brooke, Amanda. Hi guys, I'm streaming right now. Hello. I feel like I got them both, but if not, Brooke and Manda, thank you very much, and I will take that into account. Um, would Jesse ever do a live plan with me with me? Maybe. Maybe, that's his answer. <laughs> All right. Um, they're saying hi. All right, so that's for those Hello, two internet. things. Hello, Internet. So Saturday all day is the um, the planner masquerade, the New York. Hot, and Loki's like, oh, Jesse's home. So I'm going to put this across it to kind of be for the, it's the, just, the event is all day. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do something in the morning for breakfast because the event doesn't start until noon. But I just don't want to over... I don't want to overcommit myself to anything. I need to get together with my patron. There's a couple of my patrons I'm going to be trying to have coffee with while I'm there. But I a picture I, of Thor while I was at band practice. That's Loki's brother, you guys. That's Loki's brother, Thor. He is so furry. Try to get this in position. Nice. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's another super chat. Aw, Hillary. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Hold on, let me see what else is going on here. Uh, Jesse has a bullet journal. He doesn't use it like bullet journal style, kind of, he uses it for note taking, but he loves it. And he, I was so amused when he got one. So I'm gonna use this for the event on, on, uh, on Saturday. 
Layering, doing some layering situations. Um, what else do I see? There were some other things up here. Uh, Deb, you asked, would you and Jesse do a live thing like you did with him about organizing things? I would love to. He has a brain for it. Like he has an analytical kind of brain where he's good at looking at the pieces of something and figuring out how they should go together, which is why he helped me so much when I was trying to figure out my, my, my organizational system. So that might actually be a really great video to do with him if he was willing. I don't know if he would be willing, but he might be. Sometimes the fact that Sarah said it's an improvement that he said maybe as opposed to hell no, she's not wrong. <laughs> Normally he gets all flustered when I try and like corner him with the camera. So you never know. Um, what else? Uh, I'm sorry. I had to sneak in the bathroom. Actually, I'm not really sure if I'm sorry or if I think that's funny. Um, Will I ever do a video just on washies? I probably could. I feel like I have once, but that was like two years ago and my collection has not only grown, but it's changed. I stopped buying every random washi out there and I buy selectively because I like what I have, but I have a lot. So I probably could do a video on it. I just, I haven't done it recently. So that is something to put on the list if you're interested. I don't want to do a lot of like, quarter style videos, mostly because I don't want to promote buying shit for the sake of buying shit. I like to promote buying things because you decided you really want it and you think you have a good reason to have it. Do you know what I mean? Like I want, um, I want people to make informed buying decisions, man. I feel like this pen is not a, I don't think I spelled that right. B, I feel like this pen is going to smear. but whatever, we'll deal with it. So, um, your husband applied for the Lifespan Learning Director at our UU Church and keeps saying if he gets the job, he will need a bullet journal. Well, good luck. I, fingers crossed, my dude. Um, do a live commenters choose my layout? That, okay, that's awesome. Maybe that's what we'll do next month because it's a plan as you go it's a plan as you go month next month, which means I need to use my planner every day. Like I can't, sometimes when I destroy my planner, it's because I know I'm not going to really need it all that much. But for plan as you go month, because I really like to show how I use it every day, I don't like to destroy it because then that throws my planning system off. I can live with that for a week, but not when I'm documenting it every day. But within reason, that could be a fun thing to do. I'm not sure. There's so many things I'd like to do. There's so many things. Maybe I should go live more often purely because there's so many things I want to do. Um, Cindy plans and Jesse tries to explain. That would be funny. You help me buy the passion planner and bullet planner. I love your reviews and totally respect the not buying shit for the sake of not buying shit. I appreciate that, Summer. Thank you. Um, the Instagram story ones are awesome for playing with me. Is that where they do like a question in the Instagram story and then they use that? I feel like that would be so stressful to try and coordinate. Okay. So then I think I'm going to try and get together with patrons on Sunday as well before I leave. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put down like a, a yellow flag and I'm going to put patron meetup and I'm just going to leave space for a time. As soon as I figure out my itinerary, I can write down when I might wanna meet some patrons for coffee. So we'll figure that out once I figure my shit out. You know who you are. Um, Jesse lettering challenge, that could be funny. Um, I seal your pen reviews. Do I do one for, um, for black paper or on black ink? Like for pens to write on black paper, like white pens? I could do that. Um, Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to throw some hot takes down because I've been noticing this um conversation about about um nails in the chat. I'm going to throw my opinion out there because this is my fucking channel. I can say what I want to. I got to figure out what I'm going to cover this up with while I'm doing that. 
Okay. I, when I first started doing plan with me's, I um, did not, I would go and get my nails done specifically because I'm a nail biter and I was embarrassed to do, to have my hands on camera where people could see them and have them look all chewed up. Whoops, sorry for hitting the camera, my bad. Um, so I would go and get my nails done. And then I finally realized that like, I just didn't have the funds to keep doing that every week. And I, I, I didn't have the funds, I didn't have the time, and I just, I got over it. And what I realized was that, um, my hands are gonna look the way they're gonna look. And I know some people, and there's some of you in the chat, who, who um, prefer to see, you know, well manicured hands, and that's all well and good, because it's visual, this is a visual medium, you're looking at somebody's presentation. But I personally um, have decided that my nails are gonna look the way they're gonna look. Part of it's because I have kidney disease, so they flake a lot, and sometimes I can wear nail polish, and sometimes I can't wear nail polish, and it's just, it's, it's stressful and it's too much stress to worry about. So I decided that, you know, if somebody doesn't like looking at my hands or looking at whatever, like now that I'm gonna have this scar, some people might not wanna look at that, so they may not watch my videos, and that's okay. They, they, they're they well within their rights to like what they like and not like what they don't like. But that I am going to stop giving a fuck. That is... That is gonna be, that's my philosophy on it. It's not that I think people are not entitled to their opinions, it's that I'm not going to let those opinions bother me because I have too many other things to worry about. I'm putting this keep going sticker that I lettered right here. Ooh, rocks, thank you for the 499 Super Chat. Found my channel through my podcast with Sam and all I can say is thank you. I appreciate that, I love talking to Sam. <laughs> Cheapskate Creates <laughs> gave me a $1.99 Super Chat for Jesse to do a plan with me. God, I wish I could convince him. Yeah. I'm looking through the comments here. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by the comments. Um, you appreciate you don't kiss anybody's ass in any review? Thank you. I'm glad that that shows because I the people that I've met through, like the people who make planners, the people behind companies like Aaron Condren or... Um, you know, any of the sticker companies, any of the planner companies, I've met the Kit Life Girls, I've met the Bloom Daily Planner people, I've met Whitney, I've met a lot of planner people and a lot of sticker creating people, and I think that they're all great. But how I feel about them does not mean that I'm going to like their shit just because I like them. And it also, I, I don't want to be mean because I don't ever feel like there's anything to be mean about 99% of the time. But I also want to point out the things I like and I don't like because I think that Chris, constructive criticism makes better products. And the coolest thing ever was when Kit Life listened to my criticism and they took some of it into account. And I was like, fuck yeah. So. Yeah. And I also understand when people don't like to see like bitten down nails or like, like janky ass looking nails. I totally get that because it's an aesthetic thing. People are well entitled to their opinions and they're well entitled to like what they like and not like what they don't like. I just, I don't let it affect me anymore because, or at least I try not to. It's easy to say that it's not so easy in practice, but I just, there are so many things in my life that I feel insecure about. I, it's hard. I can't let other in people dictate my insecurities. I do plenty of that on my own if that makes sense. And I don't actually think my nails are an insecurity. I think my nails look pretty decent. I've stopped biting them for the most part, in part because of this channel, which I'm very impressed with. But I used to bite them down till they hurt. So I understand what that's like. You just don't like dirty fingernails? I get that too, dude. Oh my God, my dad was a uh, mechanic and he always had like the oil grease under his fingernails. For me, I don't like the feel of anything under my nails. I wash my hands a million times a day and I scrub under my nails because the feel of any crud in my fingernails horrifies me. So there's nothing more. I'm not, and please don't take this to me and I'm calling you out if you don't like seeing something. I don't want that to be the case. I just also want people to know if they wanna make videos, people, there's gonna be something they don't like about you. They might not like your nails. They might not like your handwriting. They might not like your, 
your voice, they may not like something, and that's fine because people are entitled to their opinions, but if you're gonna make videos, make them because you want to, not because of what somebody else thinks of you, because somebody is always gonna not like something about you. So that's, that's the moral of the story, story here. But no, you didn't piss me off. You did not piss me off. I wanted to make sure you know that. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard when it's live and I, I respond to things and then I don't pay attention to the comments while I'm responding. And then I look and I'm like, oh shit, that's not what I meant. So did not piss me off. I'm just making, the, because it's, a, it's one of those places where it's like, I wanna be honest about the things I like, but I also want to make sure people are encouraged to try. And there's a really easy, like you never know the thing you're gonna say, which is gonna make somebody not wanna do something anymore. And it doesn't make you a bad person. It just means that I, I recognize some of these triggers because I felt them before. So that's all. I swear, I'm not mad, I promise. Not mad at all. Are you guys talking about that shit you put on your nails to make them taste nasty? Yeah, I, the bitter nail polish shit did not do a thing for me, like at all. It, I just got used to it. <laughs> Keep going. Um, I'm gonna put take it easy this week because traveling, I always overdo it. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I just want to make sure. <laughs> anyway, people are watching on the replay. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? Ooh, Man with the Plans is in here. People might identify with you. It's, a Man with the Plans says, at the same time, people might not identify with something about you, but other people will gravitate towards you from the same thing. Exactly. My case in point with that is my cussing. Some people are horrified by it, and they tell me. <laughs> Believe me, they tell me or I hear about it later. Other people are like, oh, hell yeah, somebody who cusses like me. So, you know, if there's something about you somebody doesn't like, it's okay, because somebody else will, you know? All right, I'm so like lost in the comments here. All right, so this is everything I have so far for my week. I don't think I have anything else to add to it. I wish I did. I just really don't. Like I've, it's, I've got these things, but a lot of it's just getting work done this week. And it's, I think this is pretty, I think this came out really nicely, but like, I, just, you know, it's, I'm still, I'm still, um, I'm still easing back into planner life. I've been using my planners, but I'm still easing back into like my, my routines because of how I've been feeling lately. Did I see Rent Live? Oh, I have feelings about Rent Live. I will not be, um, I don't think I'll be watching it when it comes out because the day of it, because I'm gonna be, I'm flying back that evening. So I might not be back in time to watch it. And I, I can't see it from the very beginning. I'd rather just wait and watch it the next day when it's, um, when it's finished. But I love Rent <laughs> and I am nervous. I don't want them to censor it. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the casting, mostly. I'm just worried that they're gonna censor it because it's gonna be on TV. I don't want them to censor it. If La Vie Boheme gets censored, I'm gonna be so fucking angry. Thank you for doing lives and talking with us. Helps to make some of us not feel... Oh, thank you, Crystal. You guys are awesome. I am going to probably sign off here in a few minutes. I know this is shorter than usual, but I'm not feeling great. So I really... Oh, I promised I'd tell you about the Zoloft. That's the last thing I'll talk about. Okay, here, let me flip this up so you can look at my face because I'm actually done...
planning for right now. So I will flip it off, not flip you off, flip the camera. If you're interested in hearing about the Zoloft, we'll talk about that for a few minutes and then I will sign off. But I promised I would talk about that. So I'm going to do that. So if you want to stick around for the Zoloft conversation, that's going to happen now. But the planning is done. So if you were just here for the planning, have a lovely rest of your day. All right, let's flip this. There's my computer. There you guys are. Inception. Hold on. Still fixing it. Oh, you love doodle videos, Emily? Perfect. I love doodle videos too. It's just been a while since I've done them. I have not had, um, I have not had, there I am. I have not had the, to be perfectly honest, I have not been um, motivated to do them. I've been so like in a rut when it comes to being creative lately. That's why I've done so many reviews. I've just, I just haven't felt that way. And that's part of, I think part of it's just the anxiety. I'm gonna turn these off because I feel too blown out. I feel like part of that's the, and there's a December calendar behind me because I haven't bought a new one of those, but I, um, I don't know what I want to put there. I don't think I want to do another one of those calendars. I think I want to put a whiteboard there. I just haven't found one. So I'm leaving it there to not have it be empty. So it's still December in this house. Some of the excessive washi, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I just, I've been, I think, I think that part of the reason I've been in such a rut for the last like six months has been part of my health. My Michael Myers painting. I love my Michael Myers painting. Um, when I was talking to the therapist this week, she told, I explained kind of what has been happening um, with my health. For those of you who don't know, I'm in kid I'm getting closer to kidney failure. The surgery I just got done was for a dialysis access and I'm starting talks at the transplant center. Um, and it's genetic. And I was explaining to the therapist about kind of the trajectory of my last couple of years with my health. And I, I was talking about how I've been super anxious and falling apart crying randomly. And that's never been how I've been. That's never been me in my life. And so it was really throwing me off. And I was like, I feel so like I'm out there. And she was like, if you weren't, she's like, you know, it's understandable that you're feeling this way considering what you're going through. Like it makes total sense. So don't feel bad about it. So uh, she prescribed me a low dose of Zoloft to help um, stabilize my anxiety and just help me a little bit take the edge off and help me sleep a little better. It's hard for me to sleep because of the size of my kidneys. They make things very uncomfortable. But on top of that, I can't shut my brain off. And so the Zoloft is supposed to help me just be a little bit more regulated. And so I'm on a very low dose right now. I'm on 25 milligrams. I think they're going to bump it to 50 milligrams and we'll see how that goes. But right now I'm in the very beginning stages of it. And um, I've never used antidepressants before. I've never been on medication like this before. So I am um, nervous, but it's just been hard for me to function every day because of how stressed out and anxious I've been, if that makes sense. When your husband started anti-anxiety meds, he got more creative. I've heard that... Um, when you can bring your anxiety down sometimes, it helps you, it helps reinvigorate your creativity because you're not so focused on your stress that you can, you can, you can be more creative. So I'm hoping that maybe that's a side effect of like bringing me back to, you know, when you stop doing things you love because you're too stressed out, that just exacerbates your stress. And that's been kind of where I'm at. I've been able to keep going here on YouTube and talking to you guys because I, it adds structure to my day and I really love it, but I'm just, I feel like, there's a piece of it that's missing. And so hopefully I will be able to find that again. That's my hope. We'll see how it goes. Checking the comments. So, so far the only side effect from the Zoloft I've been feeling has been, I've only been on it for about a week, but the effect I've been feeling is super groggy in the morning. Like more, I'm usually groggy in the morning because of my kidneys and not sleeping very well. And low kidney function also makes you groggy, but it's been like extra. So that's the only thing I've noticed so far is that it's been making me very groggy in the morning. Yeah, I'm taking this at night when I take my other meds. I take all my meds at night because I don't, including diuretics, but thankfully, even since I started taking the Zoloft, I haven't had to pee in the middle of the night. But 
I, um, I take them at night because that's the only time I can remember to take them at the same time every day. When I take them in the morning, I, um, I'm all over the place. So taking my medications at night has been my, it's been one of the reasons I've been able to keep my blood pressure under control is because I take them at the same time at night. It takes 30 days for Zoloft to get effective. Yeah, they're monitoring me. I'm supposed to talk to them next week. You suggest taking it earlier in the evening so I won't be so, like maybe at dinner time. Yeah. Anyway, point being is that I've got both my, the way that my, my medical insurance works is that the therapists and everything are part of the same. I have a Kaiser for those of you who, who know what Kaiser is. I have Kaiser. And so the therapists are also with Kaiser. So my therapist and my, my, um, my regular doctor are, are working together on this. So, because like at Kaiser, the therapist can't prescribe the meds. The doctor has to, so they work together. They're in the same office. And so they're working together to monitor me. They're both going to check in with me after a couple of weeks and we're going to just keep, keep, um, checking in on it. Plus I'm also seeing my nephrologist. So I've got, I've got all the doctors and my vascular surgeon. I have to go see them in a couple of weeks too. All of the copays. Copays are my life. So yeah, but so that's the hope. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm just ready to, I concede the fact that I, um, I have a lot happening right now that my, I'm entering into a different part of my life with kidney failure and asking for help has never been something I've been good at. And I've had to do that a lot. It's funny, my poor husband, he's had to take up a lot of the slack here because of my surgery. And so I would keep apologizing to him for having to do laundry or or whatever and he finally was like stop apologizing why don't you just say thank you instead of apologizing but it's almost like the thank you yes Sarah notes I was just talking to my patrons about this a little bit earlier but I was like the thank you is almost worse because that's acknowledging that I needed the help in the first place and I hate that Crystal it is okay to not be okay yes I agree with you yeah so, so I'm just, I'm not good at it. It's not that I, I am anti-help. I'm just, it's never been something I've been very good at asking for. So that's something I am working on this year. And thankfully my husband is a fantastic partner in this because he recognizes my stubbornness at asking for help. And he doesn't let me like rest in that. He kind of, he kind of pushes me out of it in a nice way. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you guys, now that I've kind of explained that, I'm going to take off. Do you have any other questions before I go? <coughs> any other questions for me before I take off? Otherwise, I'm going to go hang out with my husband who is here. And, and I'm excited to see him. And my kitty, too. Can you hear my kitty? Can you hear Loki? Meow. <laughs> Where's Jay? You guys are awesome. If I'm going to see you in New York, I can't wait to see you then. Otherwise, I will see you all the next time I see you. Thank you so much. And I promise 